Hello, my name is Andrei Kulikov again, and uh, I'd like to continue the talk, topic about uh, predicting of periodical uh, data. So the last vi vi video finished that uh, in in uh, uh, de detecting the periodical uh, trend and. Uh, but um, how can we get that uh, we shall use this order of uh, Fourier parameters values? So it, this question can be answered by the, f the following thing like period period periodogram so how many fourier pairs should be actually included in our feature set we can answer this question with the periodogram i said before <laughs> uh, it tells you uh, the strength of the frequencies in a time series so let's start the experiment so i load the data set again here it is train yes i use here data and mean temperature and uh, he here is a um, function that um, can make a seasonal plot and i started and get some plot that tells me the changing of my uh, of my function in a week it's constant here and in a year it change during the year only and so it is uh, the first way to get the periodical uh, uh, things but but uh, it, it can uh, it can not show us some monthly or some two weeks periods. So for that is used this function. I've got it from um, Kaggle courses. So I, I didn't write them my, by myself uh, and I only use them and so after using this function, but my, uh, but I use here my uh, the data set from other uh, place, and uh, I, f to make it mo more um, to make my education more uh, complex or good, fine. Okay, so after using this function, I get the periodogram. So it shows me the, the value of annual um, part or annual frequency and semi annual. And I see that other uh, periods do not. Uh, take part in uh, this data set and so what uh, should I do with this uh, with this uh, plot using it I can uh, put the order here so in the course is um, the no if I if if I have uh, two here, I should uh, put two. To, so I'll make some experiments. If I have uh, here uh, this what, this um, peak maximum, yes. So, so if uh, the peak will be here, I should use twelve here. And uh, it it is a, um, 
experimental uh, process, I suppose, and uh, the results will be in uh, uh, mean error value. So let's uh, try to put one here. What should I see? I see that it's, yes, it uh, di differs from the data not, uh, not uh, hard, but it uh, differs and I get here the error like uh, two dots uh, or do two points five. I can reduce this uh, error by putting here, for example, two. Two, two, two. Yes, and it uh, repeats the blue graph. Okay, one point seven. Okay, let's put here three. One uh, point near seven. So I see that, that any uh, changing does not uh, influence on this uh, result. And for example, if I put here ten, this value is. extra so I, I, I again uh, of course it became uh, better but not so, so and if we shall work with big big data this uh, might a request for bigger uh, computing resources so I'll put back here three and uh, there is another graphical method to check the result it is called uh, the uh, it is called decision deciso seasonalized so after using this code and, and this formula I should get uh, the results what the mm, uh, there is if any data was not used for for predicting, I suppose. So if I put here, for example, one, for example, one, I'll get there some uh, stupid, some step. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I'll continue some experiments with uh, with uh, time series data and predicting of it. So thank you very much. Bye.